Welcome to another Taste and Experience with Key Encounters. Let's talk about it. Before we start, big shout out to KCuff87, that is Brian, for this interesting and wonderful surprise of delicious beer. So what we got here is going to be, let's see, the name of it's called Gazer Bean. So right there off the bat, that's pretty cool. This is from Carbon 4 Brewing Company coming out of Madison, Wisconsin. This is 5% alcohol by uh, volume. Uh, let's see, 16 fluid ounces. And is there anything else on here that I may need to know? Not at all. Uh, pretty nice little label here. I'll kind of just show you a little bit of that. There's Gazer Beam. Really heroic looking, you know, sci-fi superhero-esque. Hey, why not? Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Oh, let's get our pour on. Oh, lovely. Careful. Rich. Smell chocolate from here. Milk chocolate. I think that's plenty. Smell milk chocolate. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Uh, Brian, thanks again, boss. Oh. Milk chocolate. Um, we're also going to go with cocoa nibs. It also smells like those chocolate donuts that have just the glaze on them. Um, there is like nice dusting of co um, coffee dust. Like the coffee on here is nice. Low ABV is definitely, it's there. Like it's, it, it, it's interesting for such a low ABV to give it some characteristics. Uh, so let's go through the markers, chocolate, coffee, um, a little earthy, just a touch. Um, it smells thick. I'm also getting an interesting, um, bitters of chocolate. So dark chocolate is right there. Um, overall, it, it basically smells like a chocolate donut. It really does with some coffee. So let's dive right on in. Watery. There's quenching. Crushable. Um, yeah, it feels like I've, I've eaten chocolate donuts. It's got a nice, um, really thick, bready taste to it or donut taste to it. Uh, the coffee is kind of complementing it towards the back end, but the star of the show is chocolate. It's chocolate all day. Rich chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, all the chocolates. Cocoa nibs are there. Also, a very interesting amount of cocoa. It, it It's very surreal that it doesn't seem like a beer. It tastes like a donut. Um, I would love to see this if it had like a maple finish to it. Oh man. Or bacon. Oh, that would, that would set it on fire. But the overall experience with this is chocolate donut and nice milk or mocha of coffee. I almost said milk chocolate and coffee. We'll go with a mocha. You know what I mean? With, with the complement of coffee. I'm going to go in for one more. Just on, on GP. Yeah, that is clean. For a low ABV, that is clean. Everything that you need in a particular stout, your coffee, your chocolate, it's on point. But the star of the show is definitely this sort of chocolate donut mm, composition. Mm, it's delicious. Nothing bad on the aftertaste. It's not super complex. It is what it is. Now, if you're someone who may not pick up on that bready, doughy, donut aspect, the best thing I could say is more chocolate forward on top of like your mocha coffee, if that makes sense. So more chocolate, coffee secondary. So imagine that of any 
type of coffee that you want. Um, but those, I'm telling you right now, because of the malt, you're definitely going to taste this interesting, bready, doughy, donut-esque flavoring. Wonderful. It's well put together. I don't even know what else I could say. But that's what you're going to get out of it. Brian, I appreciate you. And until next time, guys, appreciate you. And cheers. Thank you.